going on everyone welcome back to another episode of the balanced perception youtube channel today i'm back with uh, more sword reviews you know guys i have a problem and i'm feeding my addiction maybe one episode i need to have an intervention hmm. i have to look into that but i actually uh, have these two swords for you but i'm sorry i haven't really saw my normal schedule because we just moved to a new house you know congratulations to me um so i've been setting that up here in my new studio and i'm setting up the room that i'm going to be using currently So as I said, I'm reviewing two swords today. Let's take a look at um, the first one. This sword right here is actually from Amazon, of course, and it is not metal, unfortunately. It is a PVC sword, and it actually looks really freaking good. Um, you know, it's got the plastic sheath. I actually thought it was gonna be made out of wood. Um, that's what it said, but it is plastic. You know, you guys can hear that. And then we have the sword itself, you can tell it's a little bit, what's the word, not flimsy, I don't know, it wobbles, because it's not like it's gonna break or anything, but you know, it's not very stiff. But I actually got this sword because I was gonna use it at AWA for my um, Beanie Maru cosplay, which I actually didn't get to do because I was too busy recording and taking pictures. So, you know, maybe another convention, but this is the sword that I got to go with that because the metal one that I had to use in the original re uh, video cosplay that I did of Beanie Mara was like metal, as I said, and you can't take that into convention, so that's why I got this one. Not heavy at all, you can see one hand. You guys know, PVC plastic. Fits into the sheath very nicely. It will look very good. It looks, I mean, phenomenal. I like the actual handle. The, it's not rope, um, I don't really know. It's just like plastic too, but it feels like rope. It's really strange. I'm not sure how to describe it. You guys are gonna have to get one for yourself and feel it. Everything, um, this is actually foam. The actual, I don't know, golden part right here is foam. This right here is some kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like soft, so I'm guessing it's PVC too. And right here, the black part is all foam, foam. Mostly everything is foam, a little bit of plastic on it. Like the blade itself is like plastic foam, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, very nice sword. I really like this one and I hope I get to use it at a convention. We'll see how it looks for pictures, you know, posing like this, posing, you know, like this, that classic pose with it on the ground, you know, like some type of slashing, striking pose. Boom, boom. It works very well for that, and I love it. You could probably even use it for LARPing, though I've never LARPed, so I would not know the requirements for that. But I love it. It's also got like a hole right here on the sheath. Maybe you can run like a string through there and attach it to a belt so it will hold right here on the side. You can adjust that, and it's very easy to quick draw. You know, I never mastered that thing where, you know, uh, what is it? Oh, how do I do it? It's easy to quit, like the thing where they go foom like this and then put the sword back into the sheath. Pull it out and then, I'm really afraid to try that with an actual sword because I think I might cut myself, but that needs to be an episode two where I perfect that skill. Anyways, that's this sword. You can see if it is it actually balanced. The balance point somewhere around here. So you guys can see that. Yes, awesome sword. Great for cosplaying, linked below. If you guys are interested, it will go with tons of cosplay. If you wanna go with, a, you know, Beanie Maru, if you wanna go with Rimuru, if you even wanna go with uh, Samurai X, I mean, almost any character that uses a sword, this sword would work. So I highly recommend this one conven for conventions. It looks great. It will look great in pictures, almost like the real thing. So that's this sword. Of course, I save the best for last. And I've actually had this sword for a minute. And I was like, you know what? I, when I was moving, I was going through all my stuff and I was like, I forgot all about this sword. And that is my Final Fantasy 13 blade. This one right here. 
I couldn't even find it anymore on Amazon. I found one similar that I can link for you guys, but this specific one I don't see. And that's probably for good reason because this sword actually came sharp. It's very, very nice. As you can see, it's small and it's got straps that you could like put it across your shoulder. You could put it, you know, on your back. You could put it wherever the heck you want. Comes with a little button that keeps it in place. We unbutton it and check that out, guys. I really, really, really love this sword. It's extremely sharp. Um, like the tip, everything about it is extremely sharp. I love this sword. It's just like a big piece of metal wrapped with some red rope, I guess. I don't know what this really is, like rope type of material. And it's got like, you know, this hook right here for holding the blade, I'm guessing. Then it's got this part right here. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe it's just for cosmetic looks, but it looks cool. <laughs> you could do some serious damage with this. Um, I need to try cutting fruit with this one also because this would work really well and it's a lot more manageable than one of the long swords. You know, um, my girlfriend is actually watching, she's just now getting into um, The Walking Dead and she's like, oh, that could be used for cutting zombies. And I was like, yes, it actually could. Though I think it would be a problem because you know, like once you ram a zombie in the head, this part is gonna get stuck and you can't pull it out and then you're screwed because you're gonna get eaten by all of his zombie friends. But I digress, this is the awesome lightning sword. I'm trying to see where the balance point is. This one is not, as easily balanced as the other one did. There we go, right there. But it's, uh, yeah, it's having a little bit of trouble, but it's still really good. It's hardy, hardy, sturdable. That's my new word, I just invented it. Uh, spread it, give me credit, but yes, yeah, sturdable. Um, it's extremely nice. I'll show you guys the length differences between this one and that one. So you can see here, Boom, it's much, much shorter, meaning it's much more manageable. I love it though. Unsheath it. Show you guys the length difference, unsheath versus sheath. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that's basically it. Put that sword back down, because I like this one. If you guys like this sword too, and you plan on doing a lightning cosplay, I think this would be really good. I need to just go back and see if I can actually get my sister or someone I know to do a lightning cosplay and use this sword, we can actually cut a few things with it. I don't know what those uh, like bamboo things that they use to cut with actual samurai swords are, but we can maybe get a few of them and cut it. That would be awesome. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this sword, definitely leave a thumbs up. If you like this video, please like and subscribe as it does help the channel. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video with me, checking out these swords. Until next time, stay boundless. See you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>